I am Wesley Ford for our city. I am reporting from Nyanga Junction where I am talking to Parista and entrepreneur Kopan who runs his Parista Cup business. We are here to see how we run his business from the busy Nyanga Junction terminus. I started from 2009 working for restaurants, different restaurants until 2015. That's where I decided to go on my own because it was in my blood. So I thought of bringing good coffee to the community, to the black community in the township. So not to make people go to town in, in, in order to get a good coffee. So the idea started from there, but it's been haunting me since before 2015, I would say 2012. I sourced my beans at a guy coming from Burundi. So he's a farmer in Burundi, he's, he's farming coffee and then he brings it here in Cape Town. So at the moment what we're selling is single origin, which is just the Burundi. If it's not the Burundi, it will be the Uganda. I used to roast it myself in a pot at home, but because of the numbers of my clients are growing, so I couldn't catch up. The pot is quite slow, so what I normally do, I take my raw beans and then rent a roaster in town or in Woodstock. So the other guys which I rent, it's Camille coffee or baseline coffees. I rent a roaster from them and then roast my beans to the certain profile I want. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of fit in it. Nyanga Junction and the Terminus. Terminus, it's, it's slightly dangerous because of the um, taxi wars, but there, is, there could be a successful business there. So that's the reason why we are also not there, but we would love to be there, but you might be hit by a stray bullet. You never know. They don't tell when they're fighting. The reason why we open very early is because to catch the people who are taking trains and the taxi drivers which are like 95 percent of my customers here it's it's straight simple so it's it's a small cup which is supposed to be a cappuccino but it's very hot and there's a lots of sugar which is about 10 rand and then you get the big one which is about 12 rand we would call it a latte but we call it a big cup so yeah it also have lots of sugar and it's hot so yeah, would, you can call it a small cappuccino and big cappuccino and then we also have a hot chocolate which is also the same size as small ones and a big one. So those are the kind of coffees we do. We, we get people who would want Americanos but it's very rare and cafe mochas, yeah. But where we do fancy stuff, it's in town where we keep it the right way. Yeah, I would love to expand business going forward if I didn't have that much fear of going to the terminus. That would be the second, that would be the third place. But at the moment we're planning to go over the bridge to the mining bed side um, to give it a try there, but we're still organizing a generator to, to go on that side by the terminus. Because we get now clients who are crossing the bridge coming from mining bed, taxi drivers who are asking people to buy coffee from this side. So see there could be an opportunity on that side.